Hi everyone, it is the weekend and it's been a very, very enjoyable day again today. I hope you're all having a fantastic weekend as well. And in fact, actually by the time you watch this, I should be saying I hope you all had a really enjoyable weekend. Well, yesterday, pretty much all of the day was Lego day. There's a clue for you. I'm gonna show you those in a little bit more detail in a short while. And today was a mixture of going and getting a little bit of food shopping, uh, also dropping my daughter off to work, family time again, and then some more Lego. So I'm gonna show you the two Lego sets I built over the last two days with my son. And I'm gonna start off showing you the one I built today, which is this one. So let's give you a close up of these Lego sets. So this is the first one, and this is a sort of jet, well it's not a jet plane, look, it's a propeller plane, and it's really, really cool, very, very good indeed. And this is the actual box, let me show you the box so you know which model it is. It is 9394, and I'll show you around on this side, it's part of their Lego Technic range. And you can build different models. There's two different models you can build, either the jet plane, which is here, or the one that we built, which is on this side of the box. So let's show you the actual plane in a little bit more detail. And you can see here, we have got so much detail on here. So we've got a little wheel we can turn in here, and that makes the propeller go round. And then we've also got another control here and as we move this the flaps on the back move and then we have also got controls for the undercarriage or the wheels underneath and they will actually go up and down if you turn the little cog wheel underneath so that's really cool and you had to apply stickers to the wings nice amount of detail it was very very difficult to put together this one in fact even though there was less pieces in this one than in the camper van, this almost took as long because it was uh, very, very tricky indeed. So let's pop that to one side. And now I want to show you the star of the show. And this is something I actually treated myself to. And this is the Lego camper van. And you can see it there. Very, very detailed again. And this is just brilliant. So things like this move, the door opens. And you can see inside the detail inside. And the wing mirror moves as well. We've even got curtains in the windows along this side. And then if we come round to the front, let's just move this around. You're meant to pick it up from the bottom really. So if we look at the front, uh, these windows actually flap down forwards and backwards. This Volkswagen badge pulls down as well. I'm not sure if these were these were rear engine, up, weren't they? But this, I think, is to gain access to something on the real camper van. I don't really know. If you know, actually, why this moves, please do let me know in the comment section. Obviously, got the headlights. I'm going to change the number plate. I'm going to get a custom number plate put on that. And then if we look around this side, we have got another door that opens at the front. And even the seats recline, they go backwards and forwards. Really, really cool amount of detail. And then if we open up these doors here, we gain access to like the kitchen utility area inside, which is really, really good. And then if we look on the top here, we've got like a roof rack space here as well. And then we've also got this expansion bit, which of course gives you more headroom if you're standing inside the camper van. And this actually lifts up and reveals sort of the tented area inside, which is material and allows you to give that extra headroom if somebody was standing inside one of the real Volkswagen camper vans. And then if we go all the way around to the back, go around to the back area just here, and we've got the tailgate and this lifts up and then we put that back down and then this also lifts up here to give access to the engine and there is so much detail in if you look inside you can see the engine there's even a little belt around the engine fantastic amount of detail now what i'm going to do is you shouldn't actually do this 
is I'm going to take this back section off just so you get to see inside look at that so that's the inside of it and we've got these which are chairs at the moment and these actually fold down to make a bedded area so if I go right fold right down flat with that this all becomes sort of bed area or indeed you can sort of fold it back up into a chair as it is there so we've now got a chair and this table in the middle here if I can get my hand in there pull it up with the glass so this actually comes up and is the sort of dining area so we've now got a table with a glass on it and chairs either side and all of these chairs fold flat then of course we've got the curtains uh, we've got little lights a little lamp at the back in here just inside this section here does this open I can't remember no it doesn't open but that's some sort of shower area in there I believe as well and just so much detail if I turn it around this way actually if I can do it without dropping it if I turn it around this way you can see the opposite side and in here we've got a little sink we've also got shelves on the back of one of the doors even a picture a little plant in the corner cupboards just so so much detail it is absolutely fantastic so that is the Volkswagen camper van and this took I would say between the two of us about seven hours to build so that has been what I've been doing for the last couple of days and in fact this the the Volkswagen camper van we were so determined to finish it yesterday that we stayed up till something about 11 o'clock to finish the build and we just felt a great sense of achievement in building that and it all looking so absolutely fantastic at the end of it. So now we've got a nice meal to look forward to and then we will move on to Sunday. It's Sunday morning now and the missus and my daughter have actually gone out shopping. So I have got time, you're not going to guess this, you are never going to guess this, but I have got time to do what? What am I going to do? more lego so this was just a little bit of fun that i bought off of the lego store this is the minifigure birthday set and i thought i'd just put it together today because i'm in a real lego mood lately and this includes is it one character or two characters a couple of characters and it's just a bit of fun oh we got stickers as well to put on so let's have a look so we've got the backing sheet, and oh, look, look at this. This is where we are going to stick the base, and we have got a surround. So let's get started on this. I don't know what it is about shopping, but I just don't like shopping. I think it's a, a female thing, actually. I think, like, my mum's always liked shopping, my sister's always liked shopping, and myself... I just think, find what I want online, and then that's it. When I find it online, I just buy it. So, so we've got a couple of heads. Let's do the clown first, shall we? Absolutely, I'm really getting into the Lego lately. And I need the purple body. And the red legs. And there he is. There is the clown. Very, very cool. Love it. Love the green hair. So that's the first minifig. Let's just pop him there. Let's do the second one. So where's the other head? Here we go. Oh, upside down. I'm looking at the camera screen rather than the figure. I'm hoping some of this will actually be in focus for you as well. Because it's focusing on that box in the background so I think I'll just lay that down so we haven't got the box in the way now where's the other legs do, 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 do. so we've got on this little fella non-articulating legs and on the other one they actually move and we've got two different hairs to choose from should we have a girl or a boy let's have a boy around that way there we go so there is the second one so let's pop him down there 
and then we're going to set up the rest. So we're going to put the two green bits together and then we have got this one with a blue on top. Not being very successful in the old focusing at the moment. Oh, and we need another blue on the bottom. And then we're going to connect these two together. Oh no, read it right, read it right. We need this one next. And then the little flower. And put that on there. So it's a really sunny day today. Sunday at the moment so it's going to be a relaxing day I've already put some bread in the bread making machine so that we've got fresh bread for lunch hopefully my wife and daughter will be back from shopping by then as well now I've just revealed that sticky pad so I'm going to stick this in I want to get it nice and central there we go so those stick on there, so that's the base made. It's a little tiny bit wonky. There we go, that's straightened up. So that's the base. And now we have got to do a yellow with a white on top. And again, the camera has lost focus. There we go. And then we're going to put this on top of that. And then we're going to put the cake on, like so. So there's the cake. And that just sits off to the side there on this base. And then we are going to put the characters on. So we're going to put him at the back here, just there. And then we're going to put him just there. And this cake just sits off to the side. I suppose you could stick it on. So you didn't lose it, I'm going to stick it on there. There we go, I'm going to pop that on there. And then we've got to make the one last bit. So I'm going to take one of these. And we have to put four of these brown ones on. And... This is one of the quickest builds. I mean, you compare this to what I was making the last two days, the aeroplane and the VW camper van. And this is so, so quick. Not sure which gives me more satisfaction, actually. That go in the middle there? Do, 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 do. Oh, it does. So that's like that. Ah, right. So let's just... Uh, what have we got to do here? So he's going to actually hold these things. Right. So let's just pick him up. He is going to hold this in one hand. How does he do that then? It just it shows him holding it. Is it like that? Wow. Oh, like that. There we go. So he holds that like that. Again, you can't see it. Oh my goodness, this camera is really playing up today. And then this one, he's going to hold in this hand. Like so. He's not holding it up the right way, is he? But that's what it's got on the picture. So we're going to stick this back on. like so there we go and the last bit is to actually put this surround around the back so you do that apparently by opening these flaps up and I'm going to come back around here actually to do this and you can actually choose so you've got this uh, sheet of stickers and you can choose which number you put in the top so, I don't know what I'm going to do in the top there. Oh yeah, I do. See if you can guess just while I'm sticking these stickers on, what number I'm going to put on the top. Can you guess? Can you guess what number I'm doing? 
Come on, have a guess. What number am I putting across the top? Rather wonkily, actually, I should add. Ah, oh, got too many numbers off. Here we go. The last number being stuck on. Can you guess what number I put on? I haven't put how old it is. I just put a funny number. Not really that funny. I just put a number across the top. And then we're just removing this sticky back in, and you're going to see the number in a second. That's one lot of stick. Another lot. Number reveal coming up. And we're just going to stick this either side at the back. And there it is. Yep, I have put 007. Let's try and get this stuck in the right position. There we go. Pretty straight. And that is it. <laughs> I think that's quite cool. It's just a fun little set. Little birthday set. It's called the where did i put the box the miniature birthday set you can see it written up the top here and i think that is just a great bit of fun and they, these are nice and cheap as well so they make really cool presents can't see the clown face there we go there's the clown i love him that is my favorite figure i just absolutely love it so a little bit of fun to get me started on the sunday so we have been playing a game again and not sure if you remember me showing you this before, but we have been playing a pucket. And this is the game where you get the little counters and you have to get them through the hole and get all your counters onto the opponent's side of the board. And it is great fun, actually. I really do enjoy playing it a great deal. Now, it's almost dinner time on Sunday, and I don't know if everyone else experiences this, but after Christmas, we're just not hungry. And we're quite a few days after Christmas Day now. And we just don't fancy sort of any dinner. I think it's maybe the overindulgence throughout the sort of Christmas Day and Boxing Day meals. But I'd be really interested to know if you guys and girls experience the same. Uh, it's very, very strange. Because I'll get to about 8 or 9 o'clock and then I'm hungry. So I, I do guess it's just, just purely overindulgence. But anyway, I've been watching a film... Uh, Big Fish, quite a sad film actually, uh, but it's got some very good sort of inspirational storylines in it as well, and well worth a watch. Uh, I, I enjoyed it, put it that way. Probably wouldn't watch it again, but it was okay. So I've got to get work done tomorrow, so today is sort of what I'm going to class as the last day of my holiday, and then on the Monday morning just get back into the swing of things. I've got a few things to arrange for a new project that I'm launching very, very soon. And, um, oh, that's something I wanted to tell you. I actually purchased myself some Quark coins. Now, I will uh, tell you a little bit more about this in a separate video. But it's sort of one of these cryptocurrencies, a little bit like Bitcoins. But it's very, very new on the market. And thus, you can buy in at a very low price. But I will tell you more about that in another video. Once I know a little bit more about it, I'm still researching it myself. But I bought some just so that I've sort of got some in my Quark wallet. But that's enough for this video. As always, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate all your comments. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you'd like to watch another amazing video from me, please do click that top box. And if you want to subscribe to my geeky channel, click the red box on the bottom of your screen now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.